Sorry about that, folks. <clears throat> I had to do something different. Now we get to have fun of pulling the deck out. <laughs> Tighten up that sucker. But yeah, this is the main part right here for y'all to know. I'll show y'all video of the deck. I would say that take us less than Less than a minute. Two pins and a front bracket. Moves that deck in less than 30 seconds. There you go, Mr. Lee from Murphy's Burrows, Murphy Mowers. Less than about 50 seconds, less than a minute. Takes that deck off. It's not bad. It's a pain in the neck, but if you don't grease up your two pins, that pin and that pin, it won't come off very easily but we're connecting the rotary tiller sorry i had to end the video that last one kind of short like that is my short videos fixing to make it where we can reconnect the tiller i do not have a very good camera angle people so i have to work with what i can work with right now so there we go show you what I'm doing so I gotta take that pulley off which is right here and I gotta take that pulley off so enjoy the video while you're still watching I better go get some gloves on. I'm gonna get myself greased up filthy. <clears throat> the fun part <clears throat> safely taking this pulley off with no issues no oops all right that's a spacer and another washer that's a lock washer that way we got that spaced out now we can lay that on the floor Pin is still good. Now get to <clears throat> successfully take off. Is that on the right size or did I get the wrong size? I'm trying to think of what size did I go with. Alrighty, people, while you're watching me, you know, this takes more time than taking the mower deck off. So when you're watching my mower deck, it's a lot quicker than this. 
this you have to be precise. If you're not, it will absolutely throw your tiller off. So, anybody that's ever done this knows what I mean. there you got to be precise and you've got to have the right tools for the right job it sounds pretty rough but it's not as rough all righty B style pulley All right, now we got the belt confragment. And saw this part of the belt underneath. Just for a moment, let that fall. End up putting the cubby together here pretty soon. Try to wrap it around the pulley. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Now we start with the bottom pulley first. Washer back on. Put that nut back on. Go in the right direction. All right. Let's go to back to on for tightening. I like it when they say tighten. Makes it more and more. Just also remember, this is a counter-rotating, counter-clockwise tiller. You do not want to mess this sequence up. Because trust me, I've done it. <laughs> Showing you a quick video of how you got to get this done right. Yeah, it's even better and better. Because you got to get this done the correct way. If you don't get it done the correct way, it will be a catastrophic failure that you do not want. You do not want that. So I've been through it, and I've about trashed this thing. I don't want to do that. For anybody that owns one of these tillers, I only know one other person. He's on this YouTube channel. I'll make a shout out here in a little bit after I get done with this. Gotta put that lock washer back on. Like I said, I have to change attachments every now and then, not all the time. So, goes the fun, fun part. Holding that bolt in place and then tightening. But this is the way I do it. Now, other people, you can do it different ways. Ugh, all right. But this is the way I do it. So that way it stays between your specs. And that way, all you got to do is hook up your main belt. That's all it is. Then all I got to do is take this belt and... Now I'm going to show you how I do it. So that way when you route your belt, you won't get it in the way. And I already know I don't have my spring in yet, but I got my spring up there. I don't normally attach the spring till I get, well, 
till I get it hooked up to the tractor. That's about all I do. That there is a 10 minute video for y'all. I want y'all to know this thing is a timely process. It really can be. But this was a quick way to show you how to get, let me raise the camera up. I'm trying to hold it up with my finger at the moment. This is a way where you can get the garden tractor tiller hooked up to your Cub Cadet 19304 tiller. Then Cub Cadet Series 2000 Power Shaft LT2180. If you guys want to know more, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Nice comments, preferably. Definitely don't put some question marks like some people did in my last comment section. But if you really need to ask, just ask. Just no stupid stuff. <laughs> I'm like, you know, a southern man down here in Galton, Tennessee. Definitely south of anybody up north that understands the word meaning of garden tilling and tractor accessories and everything else. So please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll do more tilling videos and wanted to show y'all a quick tutorial video. Y'all take it easy. Keep on tractoring. You know, sometimes words may slip out of my mouth, but hey, just a part of life. But yeah, we got the mower deck off. I got to actually work on it, actually, this winter. So, fun, fun, fun for me, because I got to replace spindle bearings again. Y'all have a good one. Keep on tractoring. We'll make another video here pretty shortly. You have a good day.